Being under a mountain of pressure, it was Apia who would amazingly take the lead, and Jason Oswald found Aaron Clapham who diverted the ball home. He hosted Apia Leichhardt at Plume Park. The game got off to a crazy start in just the 13th minute, where Brad McDonald gave away a penalty. Debutant Aaron Clapham stepped up to take the spot kick, but saw his efforts saved by David Bratasevic, with the keeper pulling off an incredible double save, also keeping out the rebound. Two minutes after half-time, the game suddenly turned for the Mariners, and Jamie Lobb was sent off, which meant the Mariners would play almost the second half with ten men. So Dia puts her to take the corner. Whips it in now. Bobbing around the box. Crumbs fall. Not over for Apia yet. Oswald back in. Well, Clapham hits it down. Here's the chance, Simons! Well, a well taken goal. That's the. As we look at the replay, lovely little knockdown with a bit of assistance from Blacktown. Apia would fight their way back into the game, though, and would find an equaliser in the 23rd minute through Jason Oswald. Apia looked rattled after conceding two goals early on, but shortly found their feet when Jason Oswald scored a header of his own to bring Apia back within a goal. The second half started just as electric as the first. We didn't have to wait long for Apia to hit back, as Jason Oswald tapped home the equaliser in the 52nd minute for his second goal of the game. But having given the lead up on multiple times already, the Wolves again let Arpia back in the game in stunning fashion. As three minutes before full time, Franco Parisi volleyed home to make it 4 4 and claim a point for both sides. So, eight goals in all. For all of Sydney Olympics' early pressure, it was Arpia who would take the lead. Jason Oswald thundered his shot past Paul Henderson to put the visitors in front. The sides would stay level for just three minutes when Jason Oswell was the hero again, claiming his double and putting Arpia back in front. now from the 2013 Rotar Cup final. Apia starting early here, Oswald, he goes down. An early free kick, I'm racing out of the box. Morrison plays it wide, he finds Kays. Gordon trying to bring him down. Kays whips it in, it's not a bad ball. Oh, Oswald with the header for a corner. Oswald does well to bring it down. Nice trickery gets him past a couple. Clapping. That's a nice ball there from Parisi. Finds Shevlin. He sends the cross in. Headed clear, but danger not over yet. Oh, it's bobbing around. It's in. Well fortuitous, but they'll take it. And you've got to say, on the opening 25 minutes, Arpia deserved the lead. And Denham, it's a cruel blow. He anticipates the shot from Parisi. It comes in off Oswald. But in saying that, you have to say, Arpia deserved the lead. Arpia have been the better side. Here in the opening stanza, and that constant pressure has now turned into that little bit of luck. Turned over from Stavrilakis. Parisi's bearing down on goal. Looks up, doesn't have a lot there. Parisi still going. Someone needs to shut him down. Franco Parisi. Oh, great chance for Apia. Oswald couldn't control his shot. Links up with Parisi. Parisi, oh what an afternoon he's having, Parisi's going to have a shot, oh and his afternoon gets even better. 2-0 to Arpia, and they are in complete control here at Seymour Shore, 65 minutes. Can the Sharks come back with something, Arpia on another attack, back in board to Oswald, he'll switch things, El Jamal, here is Radulovic now, sends it into the far post. Bobbing around, Olsen, here's a chance, it's three! Try taking the cup off him now, and haven't they deserved it? Olsen probably should have done a little bit better. But it's the story of, that's it! It is all over here at Seymour Shore. 
And the 2013 Waratah Cup winners will be Apia Leichhardt. Thank you to everyone. Today is all about the Bumblebee.